Hello everyone, welcome back to Foundation. Now, there was a comment on the last episode that had said something like, you know, four episodes of Foundation in a row, and what's going on, or what's happening, or something like that. And, you know, I, I just gotta say that, uh, and I know I haven't uploaded an episode in a while, uh, it's been a few days, but a lot has been going on lately uh, with health and with, uh, you know, busy schedules and stuff like that, and haven't really had a whole lot of time to do much over the last couple weeks. So don't worry, I'm still recording, I'm still doing stuff, I'm still trying to get stuff done. It's just that other things in my life are, are kind of taking precedent right now. So I'm doing what I can to get the content out there for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into this episode. What I want to do today is I want to get a church built and... The main reason for that is because you get to a point in this game, and by the way, if uh, you haven't checked it out yet, go ahead and click on the link in the description down below. The game comes out tomorrow, February 1st, on Early Access. This game is awesome, it's amazing, it's a lot of fun. I guarantee you guys will love playing this game, okay? Now, anyway, any further that we need to go, okay? Like, I'm losing my train of thought, but I, I got it now. <laughs> so, any further that we need to go to unlock anything else, we need to basically, when, when you click on um, this uh, build menu, okay, we need one commoner in order to unlock it. Well, the only way we're going to get our citizens or our people, whatever you want to call them, up to a commoner, they need somewhere to go to worship. They need a church. We, we need to have a church. You know, back then there were huge churches galore around everywhere. So we want to build a rustic church. Now, to get there, you click on monuments, then you click on rustic church, and then that's going to get you to this menu here. Now, a church is going to be something that's going to be a lot different than what it is uh, building anything else. All of these other buildings are just one building. A church has several different units that are with it. We have the core unit for the church. You have core B, you have door A, door B, which you kind of can't really see that very well. So door B, so let's go back to this. So holding control and moving the mouse back and forth, this is where you can turn this stuff around. So we have core, we have core B, which actually I think I, core B, okay, little bit different, slightly different. Uh, door A, door B, which I think we already saw, and then door C, okay? So, several different uh, things that we can do here. And then there's an extension that you can do with it, and then there's a small tower as well. Now, over here on the right, this is going to show you exactly what you're going to need to build this. Currently, it has no door, which we obviously need a door for it, uh, but we have to start with the core first. And then this is going to show us what type of upfront cost we're going to need or what total cost we're going to need. And I like to keep my church dark. And then the light dark just has to do with the roof that's going on it. So I'm going to keep mine dark. And then I'm also going to start with the core piece of it right here. And I want the church to go over here in this little area. So what if I go... Let's see, we've got windows there. I have this here. So let's take this core piece and we'll plop it down. Let's go there. Now when you plop it down, you have these uh, up and down arrows that uh, pop up here. So you can click and hold, which that's moving it. Dang it, that's not what I wanted to do. So click and hold, there we go. Right on the arrow and then I can move it up or I can move it down. So you can go up and down with it. And then if you look over at the right, you can see where it changes the amount of resources that we need for how big it's gonna be. So for now, I think what I want to do is I want to make it about that tall. And you can see these little uh, white things that are on here, right? So those little white things are little nodes to where you can snap something to it. So if I go to core B, say I want this core B to be on next to it, okay, it's going to snap it to that section. Or if it's not what I wanted to do, or if I hold control and turn it, then I can snap it to either the back or the front. Which, as a matter of fact, I kind of like how that looks right there. But I think what I want to do is I want to take this, put it on the side, make this about 
Let's see, is that gonna... This might work. This might or might not work. I'm not sure yet. This is gonna be a completely different design than what I usually do. Actually, that looks really good. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And then I can take... Uh, what if I take this core piece here? And then... Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's very nice. So we'll do that with it. Okay. So we can put like a little... We can put a side door on there if we want to. And then... Let's see. If I do the extension... Mm, no, not really... Not really what I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. Door C. Oh, door C would be interesting. Actually, I think door C needs to go over here. Yeah. So door C can go over there because that kind of matches with that. Now, the doors, you can't actually, you can't make those go up and down. So you kind of have to really look to see how you're uh, putting this on here. Now, don't worry if you just, if you want to start out small and then work your way up to a bigger church, you can do that too. You don't necessarily have to uh, have it all at once. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to lower that down a little. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then we'll take, uh, we'll take this side, lower it down as well. I think that needs to come down one more. Uh-huh. Yep. That's better. All right. So we'll take that down. Come on. As well. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's better. Much better. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. And then door A. What door do I want to have on the front of this? That's honestly, that's more like a side door. Uh, let's see. Door B. I would say, I would say that would be okay as a front door. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll use that as a front door. Um, I'm not going to do a back door. At least not yet. Eventually, maybe we will, but not right now. But a door there and a door there, I think, are good. And we'll leave it like that. So, in total, we're going to need 170 planks, which we already have 252, so we're good there. We're going to need 46 tools. We have 20, and we're going to leave it there because we'll get more in, okay? Uh, and then this is going to increase our clergy splendor by 8.8, .8, which is pretty good. So, let's go ahead and start construction. And then obviously our, you know, our builders are going to come in and they're going to start building everything, right? Um, we've got, let's see, I've added that on there. Plenty of planks. I'm, I'm really glad that we had all of these planks available to us because that still leaves room for a lot of planks that we're going to be able to uh, ship out, which I like that. We are in the process of clearing all of this forest out of here, uh, mostly because I want to use that area for farming, uh, which we'll get to that in the next episode once the church has been completely built. Now, this is our, you know, our little progress bar here. We've got so basically all of those planks that we need. Uh, and then uh, you'll start seeing some, uh, some roads that get uh, taken up to the church. This really isn't going to take us that long to build, thankfully. And then once that is complete, we're going to have a lot of stuff on lock and we're going to have a lot to do. Uh, what I do want to do is once the road is established for going into the church, I want to uh, I want to get the pathway kind of looking really nice. While we're waiting on that to build, let's take a look at our unemployed people. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, by the looks of it. Do I have all of my workplaces are filled, so that's good. We have plenty of gold. Let's see. <laughs> I've got plenty of planks. I have plenty of, wow, I've got plenty of everything. Huh. Well, that's interesting. The, the, the game that I'm playing on the side right now for myself, I am... I'm not doing that good. <laughs> I'm not nearly doing not doing nearly as this good in that game as what I am in this one, which is very interesting to me. Uh, why is this constantly on? Let's okay, turn the display off. 
And then, I can't build any walls yet. Territory... Uh, I... Mm, well, I was going to be able to buy territory, but I can't now. I think I do eventually want to buy this one because that's where the uh, the iron is. As a matter of fact, I think what would be a good idea is if we if we buy this next, then we can go in and um, do a small little area over here where people live because we have food over there and they don't have to travel that far for food. Very interesting. And do water over there as well. I think what I want to do is I want to get a well right out here so that people don't have to go very far for it. Uh, let's see. Let's do a well and let's go ahead and put the well there. Yeah, that works. This, uh, <laughs> this church is building very, very quickly. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, we need 11 more tools. We have all the planks that we need. Wow, that's awesome. So, once this is completely done, if you click on the church... Well, dang it, we have to wait until it's done. But I'll show you how to get back into the construction menu when the church has been built. Uh, and you can edit, you can add stuff onto it. I believe you can delete stuff off of it as well. Um, so we'll just, we'll take a look at that here when, uh, when that's done. Same thing goes for when we go to build our, where's it at? Uh, church, that fence, road sign. Hang on. Do I not have the option to build? I do not have the option to build stuff. Oh, the church is done. Church has noticed your dedication to God and holds you in higher regard. God is why we are all here. Right. Okay. Anyway. Um, I thought maybe I was going to be able to build my manor, but I can't. But anyway, when we go to build the Lord's Manor, that's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the same concept to where we have all of these modules and stuff that we can do. So when your church is done, you click on it, you can go ahead and uh, take a look at everything that's going on with it. So the capacity of the church is 80, which is great because we have 58 serfs in here. We have 58 people. Uh, let's see, a bonus is faith. Do, 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 do. And then if you want to edit, you can go ahead and click on edit. And then from here, not entirely sure. Okay, so you can't get rid of that. I'm also learning here, so bear with me. Um, I'm not going to demolish anything. Because I don't feel like doing that. But, you know, you can go in here. You can add, like, add this on if you want to which I don't, or if I want to add, let's say we have a small tower that uh, if we wanted to, we could add that on. Let's see about, what, what does that look like? Ooh, you know what? Small tower there and here. Come on, go on there. Sometimes I, I am not able to click on that very well. That, no, that's the same height. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I might have to do that. Oh, you know what? That might be a different height. Ah, oh, crap. I think it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. That, okay. Now, I can't do any glass or anything like that yet, but... Now, if I wanted to, I could hit start construction, and honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, because I have enough materials to do it. I have enough, uh... Planks, I have enough... Uh, tools. I've got enough of all of that stuff, so let's let's go ahead and do that. Why not? Oh, look at that! You can see all the people going in and out. That's cool! Oh, houses are upgrading. See? Told you. Told you. People go in, they get faith, they see God, they talk to God, and then they automatically upgrade. It's just the way the game works. So, you can see all of the houses are being upgraded currently. You can if you want to. Um, I think there's, there might be a way to not do that. But I don't remember exactly how. 
But when these houses upgrade, they, I mean, there's not much to it when they upgrade, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, what are we doing here? Okay, okay. So what do we need more of? We need more... Let's see, we have clergy. We have nine. We have... Zero Splendor Kingdom, 14, 14, and 20. Let's do Kingdom. Let's help the King. And we'll go ahead and deliver that right away. Perfect. Just makes our ranking go up a little bit. So when they're upgrading these, all they're really doing is I think they're just they're adding some type of awning or something like that onto the house. I can't remember exactly where it is, but we'll see that here in a minute. But that's, I mean, that's how you go about doing that. So... That works. <laughs> but now that we've... Well, the houses are upgrading, but I don't have my commoners yet. Come on! Really? Maybe once the uh, maybe once the house upgrades, we'll have our commoner. I mean, I would like it if that happened. Let's do this. Uh, villager list. Arrival job. So I have one, two, three. I have four builders. I feel like I need more, though. Considering how big this place is getting, let's do eight builders. Okay, I think, uh, yeah, we have a commoner now. Yay, we got the commoner. Perfect. So we have a new zone available, which is the farm field. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing over here. And the reason why we're clearing all these trees and everything out. And that gives us our buildings of a wheat farm, stonemason's hut, bakery, and windmill. Yes. I don't think that unlocked anything over here. It did unlock the road sign. Decorative tree will unlock here in a little bit. We need uh, we need six commoners, which I imagine we'll get that here shortly. We have 56 serfs and four commoners. So highlighting over this, this will tell you how many you have of each uh, type of person, I guess you could say. So two newcomers, four serfs. Um, I'm actually going to turn immigration off because I've got way too many coming in here. I have way too many people coming in. I don't have enough jobs for everybody. Um, I do not kind of like, I kind of don't like how this road is going to the church. I was kind of hoping it was going to come off this way to the door instead of going that way. So I don't know. Pathing on that's a little weird, but I guess it's okay. All right, so there, we've unlocked the decorative tree now. Uh, the iron smelter blacksmith coal hut, we need 20 commoners for that. Currently, we only have six. We'll get up to 20 here eventually, and that's what I want to, uh, that's another reason why I want to buy this and start having people move in over here in this area because the closer people live to where they work, the more they're going to obviously want to work there. So just keep that in mind as you're going through and you're building this. But I think, you know what, that is all I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm going to try the best that I can to have another episode uploaded for tomorrow. We'll see how time goes. But I really do need to get to the gym. So, <laughs> and that's part of the reason why it's it's so hard to kind of try and do this. You know, because now I'm having to, I got to go to the gym, I got to work, I got to take care of the dog. I've got, there's just so much going on. But I do want to thank you guys so much for being here on the channel. Thank you for your support. More to come for this game. If you're wanting to see Meeple Station, don't worry. I'll get a couple of those out next week. Again, trying to figure out a new schedule and everything is really what I'm trying to do. And it's not easy. So bear with me while I try and work through all of that. But that is all I have for you guys today. Questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comment section down below. If you like the video, go ahead and give a like. If you want to see the channel grow, give the video a like. Go watch the other videos. Like those videos as well. The more likes the channel gets, the more it gets promoted out there by YouTube. And the more I get to share this with you guys. So anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next time.